I am so... Well, there goes the freedom to upload any type of content without the chances of facing horrible consequences should we do anything wrong. Even a slightest bit of wrong or misunderstanding can apparently fuck us over. Nice. So if y'all don't know already, YouTube is in deep shit with the Federal Trade Commission, aka the FTC, because they found data of children being on the YouTube site, which is pretty bad news and also highly irresponsible. So, to get the FTC off their balls, YouTube has made a huge update that requires creators to label their videos slash channels being specifically for kids or not. Because apparently, kids can possibly watch it and we could get in huge trouble if we don't label our content appropriately. But that's not good enough. YouTube will also have a machine, tracker, bot, or whatever to determine if our labeling is appropriate or correct. And what happens if YouTube and FTC doesn't agree with the creator's labeling? Well, they live with a debt that can go up to a 42k fine. 42k fine. Just because they believe that is the opposite type of content that we labeled against. Okay, just, just keep that in mind. For example, my art and animations have a somewhat cartoony slash anime-ish look and it may look like they're for kids but that's the thing they're not even my very first animation video is not targeted for kids because <clears throat> well it was supposed to be funny for audiences over 13 in fact my channel was not intended nor targeted for kids under 13 like at all why because the minimum age to be on YouTube at the time was 13. And to be honest, I'm low-key terrified to label my very first animation as not for kids because it was about my niece being her sassy self and telling her dad that if anyone calls her ugly, she would tell them that their mother is ugly. Like, how oh, your mother's ugly, haha. And again, it's not intended for kids and it was not intended at the time when I made this video. It was supposed to just be funny. It was supposed to be funny for older audiences. That was the point of it. But YouTube and the FTC might not see that as such and may find my ass because they think it's for kids just because it was based on a little kid saying sassy retorts like, bro. I already live in a sea of debt with student loans. Like, the fact that you could possibly be fined up to 42k is so absolutely outrageous and insane that I almost vomited mentally and physically. First, you can't swear a lot or talk about certain things because it causes demonetization and sensitive people to complain to creators. So you gotta be nice or be family friendly. Now you can't because <clears throat> parents who don't want to act like parents don't monitor what their kids watch. So they're punishing family friendly content because they're too good and cut their hard earned revenue in a tenth fold. Okay? We as creators should not be held accountable for shit like this because some parents didn't take responsibility for their kids and we don't control who watches what. Okay? We're not babysitters. Okay? We're not online babysitters. And I think that's what the FTC fails to realize. YouTube was never meant for anyone under 13. That's why there's this thing called YouTube Kids. Like, holy mother of Jesus. Oy. God damn. I guess YouTube Kids didn't have a lot of browsing like regular YouTube dads. I, I don't know. But even so, parents still have to monitor what the kids are watching, for Christ's sake. Like, if that one thing is hard enough for them to do alone, then they weren't meant to be parents. I am not sorry. Alright? I'm not. I've seen it multiple times now that some parents, like, 
dead ass don't want to deal with their kids acting up and just use technology as a way to calm them down instead of doing it themselves. Like, it's almost scary to see how quickly kids these days get used to having technology that they're almost, if not, completely attached to it. Okay? I tried to take away my nephew's phone one time, and my god, he threw the one fit that I cannot forget. Okay? He's three. Three. Like, holy shit. It's crazy. But honestly, if the FTC is going to do this whole thing with crushing or preventing family-friendly content for kids, then I'm gonna keep it real. That's just gonna make kids even more sneaky to find other content that's intended for older audiences or not kid-friendly or whatever. Because, first off, they get bored. Kids get bored and... They can be unpredictably sneaky on the internet nowadays, believe it or not, I've seen it. So, I think the FTC just make things much worse for creators, and it, things might not get better if this goes on. <sighs> Boy, I think I've ranted enough and made it very clear in this video. If you're a small content creator like me, be very careful. I've included a petition link as well as the comment link to the FTC directly below in the description for those who want to save family-friendly content and voice their feelings about this whole thing. So be sure to check that out below. If you haven't, or if the FTC cancels me, should I label some of my videos wrong, check out my Instagram and Twitter to catch some updates of my art and how I'm doing as a human being. That's how I notify others if I'm sick or any sneak peeks or any progress of my art and animations. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye!